All right, so you guys feeling good? Yeah, it's almost Friday. I'm feeling good. I've lost some weight. Thank you. Last month I went on the My Cat Died diet. No, thanks. Sympathy applause. I'm not above it. Uh, you know, it, it, it's honestly, it's been really hard because my cat was legitimately the best person I've ever known. And um, I found the only thing worse than losing a beloved pet is when people show up, like well-meaning, but they show up with flowers, right? Like, oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Here's something that will also die <laughs> soon. Uh, yeah. But, you know, my cat was really special. He had a big social media presence. He had a Facebook page. You guys all on Facebook? Yeah. Yeah, I know, it's enthusiastic. I, I feel ya. And you know, now that my cat is gone, I feel like there's there's just nothing. There's nothing fun on there. There's a lot of crap on Facebook. You know, and yet it's addicting. We go on there every day and I sort of feel like a modern Dorothy in the haunted forest going on there every day. It's like Russians, racists and shares, oh my. <laughs> every day. Um, you know, and I feel like Facebook is, it's weird. It's created these new, like, social obligations. Like, you have to friend your uncle who, like, married a teenager that you haven't seen in 20 years. And uh, sometimes you feel like you have to accept friend requests from friends of friends. Uh, I don't do that anymore, but for a while I did, and there's this guy who, you know, I accepted him because I played in a band with this girl and I could see he was a good friend of hers um, in Florida. <laughs> that sets the stage. Um, <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, this guy, like, he would, we've never met in person, and um, I, you know, found out pretty quickly, he had some kind of out there political views. He would post stuff on my wall. Um, like yelling in all caps, hey Tiff, thought you'd like this. And it's like a picture of a cat wearing a little military uniform and like a Confederate flag hat. <laughs> and I was like, oh man, cats don't like wearing hats. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, you know, I think uh, Facebook's just gotten, it's gone from bad to worse. And um, I, I started writing an open letter to Facebook recently, and uh, it goes like this. I have a confession to make. I don't really like you. I don't like you. I only knew you in seventh grade math class when I sat beside you beside you but now I see you every day online and I keep wasting all my time looking through newsfeed endlessly I saw your shoes know your views what you had to eat and when you like everything I post laugh at all of my stupid jokes I feel like I have to pretend to care that your kid graduated to underwear from diapers you posted his diapers oh god now he's naked please stop I can't take it Facebook you get a face look at somebody's perfect life perfect kids perfect wife it looks ideal but it's not real it's just a fabricated and paper thin representation where is the dislike button where's indifference where's ambivalence where's okay I see your point but I'm still on the fence I'm talking about laugh love mad sad it's all a big distraction the human condition can't be summed up by only four reactions and why did you you invite me to your party in Chicago did you think I'd say sure I'll go it's only five hours away that's if I get on a plane are you insane Facebook you get a fake look at somebody's airbrush life airbrush kids airbrush wife I can't stop scrolling though it's boring it's just a sanitized and paper thin Day after day, duck face and eyelashes And asking total strangers if we know what that weird rash is <laughs> Hey, there's this thing that's much better for questions You can get answers from experts in just a couple seconds It's true, girl, no shit Try it, it's Google Next time, Google it 
every time you log in, turn into a mental flogging. If somebody humble brags all day, they're probably not that busy anyway. So do some deeper skimming, then you might feel like you're winning. Like when you see that guy from high school who ignored you because he was too cool, is bald now. Bald is the new bald. It's making me lol now. LOL, LOL, haha, -ha, you're bald for her face. That quote-unquote old friend you'd hope to never see again In fake news pages, it's outrageous It's just a fabricated and paper-thin representation Stop, look up, and look around, dude There's people all around you In real life, 